back then, I was wrong. And I'm sorry. It was a mea culpa from former Mayor Mike Bloomberg at one of the city's largest black churches, the Christian Center of East New York, apologizing for stop and frisk. Over time, I've come to understand something that I long struggled to admit to myself. I got something important wrong. In his 12 years as mayor, Stop and Frisk was perhaps Bloomberg's most controversial program, and even after it was struck down by a federal judge for unfairly targeting communities of color, Bloomberg continued to defend it until now. But because of the numbers of stops of innocent people, because it had been so high, resentment had built up, and we eroded what we had worked so hard to build, trust. Trust between police and communities. Trust between you and me. The city's public advocate, Jamani Williams, and the Patrolman Benevolent Association were quick to call the apology the too time, little, too late. The PBA late adding here. his administration's misguided policy inspired an anti police movement that has made cops the target of hatred and violence. But Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams, a 22-year veteran of the NYPD, accepted the apology and said it was time to move forward. I don't believe it's too little, too late. It's time for us to figure out how do we police correctly in New York City in America. Some political pundits called the apology brave. Pretty gutsy thing for Mike Bloomberg to do, to go right into the black community, to a black church, in front of a black minister and say, I screwed up and I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry he said about the crime being reduced. So it's a double-edged sword. He apologized and he wants to move on.